welcome to pilots community and in today's video we shall see how to calculate the maximum takeoff weight and the v speeds for the purpose of takeoff before i begin this video i would like to put up the disclaimer that the content of this video is meant only for academic research and your company's sops manuals and documents supersede the information presented here so this is how a rtow chart looks like and this chart is specific to the type of aircraft that we are talking about the airport the runway uh, the runway condition it could be dry it could be wet and the configuration for takeoff so let us learn the calculation by taking an example i have taken an example of hyderabad airport runway 27 right aircraft type a320 216 chocolate series outside air temperature 33 degrees centigrade runway conditions dry qnh 1003 hectopascal air conditioning is on anti ice is on and we getting tailwinds of 10 knots and the flaps that we are about to use is config 1 plus f i would suggest that you note this example down on a piece of paper also i'll mention in the description the link of the chart that we are about to use for this particular example now previously i have mentioned you that every chart is specific to the airport the runway the runway condition and the configuration of flaps so we need to pull out the exact chart that pertaining to our example so download the chart that is given in the description and let's move on to the steps that are required for the calculation so the first step in the calculation is to extract the takeoff weight and the speeds here i have taken an extract of the chart you can refer to the chart which you have just downloaded and here you can see that uh, the rows are for the outside air temperature and the columns are for the different wind conditions in our example we are getting tailwinds of 10 knots and the outside air temperature is 33 we narrow ourselves down to this box looking at the column for tailwinds of 10 knots and the row for outside air temperature of 33 degrees centigrade and this column presents us three types of data the weight in tons the v speeds v1 vr and v2 and the limitation codes on top right the limitation codes 3 slash 6 the decode for 3 and 6 is mentioned on the bottom of the chart you can have a look we can note down the weight and the v speeds as these are not final and will need to be corrected on as per the given conditions in our example so the takeoff weight 75700 kg and the v speeds 140 150 and 151 now coming to the second step which is the fcom corrections and these corrections are only applied when the corrections are not mentioned in our chart and in our case it is not applicable because all the corrections are mentioned but for the sake of explanation i'll show you where to look for these corrections in the fcom so for qnh air conditioning and anti ice correction uh, take out your fcom and go to the performance then take off take off data and then go to the qnh and bleed correction section where you will see a table like this that i have shown in the slide and here you can see all the three types of correction are mentioned now you can argue with me that uh, in in the chart the total anti ice correction is not mentioned whereas in our example our anti ice is on the reason for that is that the fcom corrections are very conservative in nature which means that they have a very good amount of safety margin uh, that is more than the margin that that should be there for the airlines to operate uh, without impacting their revenue so that's why the the airlines use the optimized rtow charts which do not compromise the safety and uh, don't have the conservative values as well then we have the wet correction which means that for a wet runway condition if uh, we don't have a separate wet chart the fcom correction needs to be applied and for that you need to go to the performance take off runway contamination and take off performance and then you'll see a table like this here i have taken a specific example but uh, at this particular section you will find tables for different conditions for clearway and thrust traverses so this particular table shows that for all thrust traverses are operative but the, there is no clearway for the particular runway so you can see the weight decrement and the speeds decrement have been mentioned for different flaps configuration now coming to the third step which is the chart corrections and the first correction in our chart correction will be the qnh correction in our example the qnh is 1003 hectopascal but the chart has been published for qnh 1013 hectopascal so there is a difference of 10 hectopascals so if we go down on the column of 10 knots tailwind we can see here that for delta qnh of minus 10 which is our case the corrections are mentioned and they are minus 0.7 tons for weight and minus 1 0 and 0 for the v speeds now one thing to note is here that we are taking the corrections from lines 1 and 2 and not from the lines 3 and 
because our outside air temperature is below the TVMC of plus 79 which is mentioned here in the shaded region. So let us call this weight correction as delta W1 which will be minus 700 kgs and delta V1, delta VR and delta V2 as the speed correction which is minus 1, 0 and 0. Now coming to the second chart correction which will be the air conditioning correction. Our chart is giving us the air conditioning correction. If we go down again on the tailwinds of 10 knots column, we can see here that if the air conditioning is on, the weight correction of minus 1.6 ton needs to be applied and there are no speed corrections required. So we can write delta W2 as uh, minus 1600 kgs and delta V1, delta VR and delta V2 will be 0. Then the third correction in our chart correction will be the anti-ice correction which is not required. Again I would like to remind you that even though it is mentioned in the FCOM, FCOM corrections are conservative. Had there been a need for anti-ice correction, the chart would present it. Coming to the step 4 which is the speed check. Now, now since we have recorded all the corrections that are required, we need to check the final speeds are V1, VR and V2 that we have obtained after applying the corrections at the bottom right of the chart. They cannot be lower than the minimum values that are presented at the bottom right section of the chart. We also need to check our V2 which is limited by the minimum unstick velocity that is VMU and also by the VMCA that is minimum controllable speed in air. And to check that you need to go to the FCOM performance, takeoff, takeoff data, minimum speeds and then look for V2 limited by VMU and VMCA. Now this speed check is not required if we are applying only one correction but since we have applied more than one corrections, speed check is required and the speed check needs to be done after finally applying all the corrections on our takeoff weights and speed. These are the final takeoff weights and speeds. After applying the correction, our maximum takeoff weight becomes 73,400 kgs and our speeds become 139, 150 and 151. So these are the final maximum takeoff weight and the speeds that are allowed under the given wind conditions and the configuration. Thank you for watching this video. If you like this video, hit the like button and do subscribe to my channel. Bye bye.